In this video, we're going to simplify algebraic expressions using an important property called the distributive property. The distributive property simply says that if we have a number in front of parentheses with maybe something else inside it, a times b plus c, what we are allowed to do is take that front number and multiply by what's inside the parentheses. a times the b, and also multiply that a times the other term in the parentheses, giving us positive a times the c. The advantage of the distributive property is we can use the distributive property to clear parentheses. We clear the parentheses by multiplying the number out front by both of the terms on the inside. Let's take a look at some examples where we are allowed to do just that. In this problem, we have the negative 2 in front of the parentheses. So, we're going to take that negative 2 and multiply him by each term inside the parentheses. First, we will start with the negative 2 times the 5x. Negative 2 times 5 is negative 10 x's. Next, we will multiply the negative 2 by the next term, negative 4y. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8 of these y's. Continuing to distribute all the way through the parentheses, we will multiply the negative 2 by the 3. That gives us negative 6. Again, we cannot combine the negative 10, the 8, and the negative 6 because they are not like terms. This expression is now considered simplified. Let's also do an example that's got more than just a number in front of the variable, or in front of the parentheses. Here, we have a 4x in front of the parentheses. Again, to multiply it through, we can multiply it by each term through the parentheses. Let's do just that. Let's start by multiplying the 4x times the 7x squared. 4 times 7 is 28. When we multiply the x's, there were already two x's on this term. Now we're multiplying another x into that, so we have a total of 3 x's, or x cubed, multiplied in this term. Continuing to distribute, 4x times negative 6x. 4 times negative 6 is negative 24. Again, we've got 1x multiplied by another, so now we have x squared, or 2x's multiplied together. Finish by multiplying the 4x times the 1. 4 times 4x times 1 is 4x, and that will complete our problem. Again, we are not allowed to combine the 28, negative 24, and 4 because they are not like terms. The variables do not have matching exponents. This will complete our problem. By multiplying the front term through the parentheses, we can simplify many different algebraic expressions using the distributive property.